Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. Um, we're gonna do a, a, a fix for you guys. Um, hopefully it's a fix for you guys. If you guys have this issue, if you guys have the traction control on and you guys don't get a check engine light, uh, normally when you guys have the traction control on, um, you would get a track engine light, uh, a check engine light, and you would actually get like a code for it, which would be a simple go-to as far as diagnosing the issue and changing out the part or whatever fixing the issue or whatever but to be honest it's a uh, probably a little bit more um uh complicated than that if you guys don't have a check engine line this does come up every so often so essentially the traction control exists to um help help the driver and maintain control uh, of the car when they're driving in bad conditions or when they uh come into a situation where there's a quick maneuvering situation that requires um, emergency driving uh, procedures and uh, if a problem with this uh, with traction control occurs it, it might make the ABS and traction system um, useless um, it's uh, pretty much an enhancement of the anti-lock anti -lock braking system, which is the ABS system. And um, the system works to prevent the loss of traction between the tires and the roadway. Um, the, the switch is typically located on a dashboard, steering wheel, or center console that when the press sends a signal to the anti-lock braking system and monitors will speed along with braking action, sends this to the car's computer to be processed. Um, the uh, the application of the traction control system occurs twice um, when the driver uh, applies the brakes the traction control switch will relay will send a data uh, whenever the tires start rotating at a speed that's faster than the speed of the car and uh, this is known as a positive switch this triggers the ABS system to be activated a ABS will essentially like apply gradual pressure to the brake calipers in effort to slow down the rate of the tire rotation to match the vehicle speed and this essentially maintains traction on the road um, it also reduces engine power on cars that utilize electronic throttle bodies the throttle play is closed slightly to reduce the amount of air entering the engine by giving less air to the engine for the combustion process less power is made by the engine um, uh, this decreases the amount of torque applied to the wheels, thereby slowing down the rotational um, speed of the tires. And uh, both these uh, things actually help reduce the potential of vehicle accidents by automatically reducing the potential of having the wheels and tires locking up in dangerous situation. Uh, when it works correctly, the system functions as intended for the lifespan of the car. However, when it fails, it will cause a few symptoms of or uh, warnings to occur um, essentially um, for the most part you're going to get a check engine light um, for most part you're going to get a check engine light and uh, this video is for when you don't get a check engine light um, if you do get a check engine light definitely use an OBD2 to see um, what the uh, what the code is that's causing it um, but uh, sometimes you do not get a, a code for it or a check engine light and in this instance I'm going to give you guys a fix for it but um, just uh, let's uh, do the, the symptoms on, 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 on what happens if you guys have this traction control issue um, your car is going to break in, in, inconsistently now uh, the switch is supposed to activate the ABS and wheel speed sensor that control the vehicle during non-typical driving situations however under serious extremely uh, rare situations a broken traction control switch can send information to ABS that causes malfunction in the system and In some cases it means the brakes will be applied differently when they should sometimes more aggressively which can cause the tires to lock up and other times more aggressively aggressively enough um, All right guys, so uh, um, I'm gonna give you guys um, the, uh, the the fix to this all right um, now generally speaking um, if you guys have this situation, like I said, the uh, check engine light would be illuminated, illuminated, and you guys should get a code. Now, if that's the instance that you're in, definitely uh, use an OBD2 to scan it, scan your car, and uh, wherever the code comes up, you definitely should actually look into it. A lot of times, it is related to the uh, your traction control issues. 
But in some of these situations where you guys do not get a code, do not get a check engine light, and you guys are left to try to figure out what the problem is, um, there is uh, a fuse issue in times like this, all right? And in many cases like this, you guys should definitely check out all your fuses to make sure that your fuses is good. Now, in some vehicles, um, the fuse um, is either, uh, it's either, you know, it, it's either called the VCM or TCM. Um, you know, there there uh, normally isn't a direct separate fuse specifically for the traction control itself. But in many cases, um, it doesn't really have to be a direct issue with the traction control that would cause these problems. And uh, that's because these days uh, vehicles are connected by ele electronically all over the place with different sensors uh, to uh, different areas of the car that sometimes a lot of times really don't have anything to do with your issue but sometimes like a domino effect if one thing has issues it's going to cause another thing to have issues and all of a sudden you have this issue that um is is connected in a way to another issue and you got to figure out what that issue is but uh in any case uh it's uh, if you guys have the situation where the symptoms are, you guys have the uh, traction control light on. You got and and it's on all the time, or it's on sporadically, but it's probably on all the time. And uh, you got this issue where it's on all the time. You're not quite sure where it is. There's no check engine light. There's no code. You're scanning it. And uh, if you guys gonna do a full scan of all the of all the systems, it'll probably take you a while. Um, you guys might want to do yourself a favor and essentially um, check the, uh, the the fuses to to make sure that all the fuses are good. Um, sometimes the ABS, um, the, the the wheel sensor uh, might need to be changed out. But those are sensors, and uh, if those are the case, you will have um, a code for them. The ABS light will come on, but in this case, it's just the traction light, um, and uh, you know so definitely you know try to figure out what the what the issue is as far as what the blown fuse is and then most of the time you probably have an answer for um for how to fix the situation but anyway if you guys have any of your own personal um opinions on this definitely leave a comment in the comment section it might help somebody else out please subscribe please give me a thumbs up all that good stuff all right guys take care